this video looks at a slightly more complex example of differentiation where we have a square root and a reciprocal. Now the method here is to write both parts of this expression as powers. So we know that the square root is x to the power of a half. The power of a half means square root. When we have an over x or over x to the power of 1 we can write this as three lots of x to the power of minus 1. So we now have the expression written as numerical powers. So we can now use our normal rules of differentiation to differentiate both terms separately. Now we know that if y equals x to the power of n, then dy by dx is n lots of x to the power of n minus 1. That is the general rule. So this is then applied to these two powers here. So for the first term, we times by the half and then take away 1 from the power. So a half, take away 1, is minus a half. For the second term, we leave the 3 there. We times it by minus 1. x, take 1 from minus 1, minus 2. This is not yet the complete answer. We can make this a bit simpler. We'll deal with that term first, so we'll leave this as a half x to the power of minus a half. Now, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, x to the power of minus 2. And the very, very final step you may take is the minus power here means over, so it means 1 over. A half means square root, so it's over the square root of x. And then here, the minus power means that over, so it's over x to the power of 2. And that is the final answer for this particular question.